The Teamwork Projects calendar is a great way to view all of your task and milestone deadlines, as well as allowing for the scheduling of other events important to your company. So here we are in our calendar, so we're getting the month of March in 2018 here. So on each day we can see our events, so we have some custom events here. And if we hover over these, we can get a quick view of these events. So we can see the event name, so webinar. We can see how long the event will take. We can see who's attending the event. We can see the event type. We can see who added the event, when the event was created. We can edit, copy, or delete our event also. Task due dates are also shown here. So again, if we hover over them, we can see the task. And we can also quick view our task here if we want to. Today's date is highlighted in yellow here. And our milestones are indicated with the diamond icon here. So again, we can get some more detail on our milestone if we hover over it. We can quickly mark our milestone as complete here. We can see the milestone name, the project that this milestone is in, who's responsible for the milestone, any description if one is added. We can edit and delete our milestone and we can see the percentage complete. We can toggle through our months here if we select the arrows. So now we're in April, May. We can go back to our current date by selecting today and we can quickly choose a specific date if we select this drop down here and we can choose whichever month we want here. We aren't limited to just a monthly view. You can see over here on the right hand side that we can choose a weekly view or a daily view. So let's just go back to month for now. And now let's look at adding an event. So in the add event window here, we need to give our event a name. Below this, we can select when this event is happening. So we can choose our date here. We can select our start time and our finish time. We can also select a completion date or you can specify that this event takes all of one day. So let's say that this is an all day event. If our event repeats, we can easily set it to repeat here. So we can have daily, every weekday, on selected days, weekly, every two weeks, etc. Moving on to the details tab now. So we can select our event type. So if we have existing event types, we can select them here, or we can add a new event type if we want to. So I'll just select all hands meeting. We can state where this event is taking place and we can add a description of our event. In the privacy tab, we can select who can see this event. So it can be only people in my company, only members of a specific project. And then down here, we can select our project or we can make this event private to just us. So I'll just say only people in my company. Looking at the people tab now, where we can say who is attending this event. So we can say a member is attending by just selecting the attending icon here. We can also choose to remind the user here and add an email notification. So let's say that I don't want to notify or remind Adrian, but I do want to remind and notify myself. Down here, we can toggle on or off whether or not attendees can edit this event. And we can also choose to only show attending users. Over in the reminders tab here, we can add our reminders. So let's add a reminder quickly now. So you can see that we can add an email reminder. We can add an SMS reminder or a mobile push. So let's say mobile push. So currently our mobile push is set for 10 minutes before our event. However, we can customize this. So let's change this to one. And instead of minutes, we can have hours, days, or weeks. So I'll say one day before. If we want to delete this reminder, we can easily do that here. And we can also add more reminders if we want to. So for now, I'll just add this event. And now you can see here that our event has been added. We can also quickly add an event on a specific day by just selecting that day. So let's just select a day here. And then again, we can just create our event and it's set for that day. So let's just close this for now. Over in the top right, we can see an options drop down here where we can customize our iCal feeds. And if you wanna learn more about that, then check out our tutorial on that. We can download this agenda as a PDF. We can print our calendar and we can edit our event types. So here we have a list of all of our event types. And if we want to edit any of these, we can just click on the event type. So we can edit the event type name and the color associated with it. So let's close that for now. We can also easily delete an event type by selecting the trash icon here, and we can add a new event type also. If we've made any changes and we're happy with it, just select finished. We can easily refine down the results returned by using a filter over here. So you can see that in our filter, we can use a keyword. We can select specific event types. We can select specific projects, users. We can choose whether or not we want to show tasks and milestones. If we want to go back to our unfiltered view, we can easily do that here by selecting clear filter. Or if we feel like we'll be using this filter again, we can save our filter. If we save a filter, it will appear up here in the saved filters tab. And if we hover over this team leads and marketing filter, you can see on the right hand side, there's an options drop down where we can edit the details of our filter. We can share our filter or we can delete our filter. 
And that's it, that's all you need to know to be able to use the calendar in teamwork projects.